Hello and welcome to another Salt and Brain Hub video. In this one, we're gonna take a look at a cross section through the midbrain, but to help orientate us, we're gonna take a look at a posterior view of the brain stem, starting with the pineal body. We can see that, the lateral and the medial geniculate body of the thalamus. We've got the third ventricle up there above the pineal body, the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus. I'll come back to those. We've got the trochlear nerve, of course, the only cranial nerve to appear from the posterior surface, and of course, the only cranial nerve to decussate as well middle and superior cerebellar peduncles. These attach to the cerebellum and close off the fourth ventricle and the rhomboid fossa posteriorly. We can't see the cerebellum on this view. So this is a very common schematic of the uh, brainstem, um, but we're gonna take a look at a cross section. And we're gonna take a look at a cross section at the level of the superior colliculus and the level of the inferior colliculus. So these are structures associated with the tectospinal tract and associated with the extrapyramidal pathway involved in reflexes to bright lights and loud noises. But they do have some interesting anatomy in the sense that they stick out of the posterior surface, so they're quite useful landmarks. So if we look at the level of the superior colliculus first, that was the upper blue line, we can first of all label the cerebral aqueduct. We're gonna get that out of the way, that's coming on. And surrounding that, we've got the periaqueductal gray, important in the descending control of pain information. So the cerebral aqueduct allows for the traveling CSF from the third to fourth ventricles. The superior colliculus is the nodule that sticks out posteriorly that helps us recognize this level, which I mentioned before and we saw on the posterior view of the brainstem. We've also got this black region in here, which represents the medial lemniscus, which is part of the dorsal column pathway and involves the ascending tactile and proprioceptive information coming up, and that's on its way to the thalamus. The red nucleus involved in the rubrospinal tract, and anteriorly we have the emergence of the oculomotor nerve coming out on the left and right sides there. We also have a very important region known as the substantia nigra, important in connections with the striatum. Uh, dopaminergic neurons would feed in to the striatum, the chordate nucleus and the putamen. We've got the oculomotor nucleus more centrally there, and of course that's motor outflow to the oculomotor nerve. We also have the medial longitudinal fasciculus. This is a pathway which is involved in the coordination of eye movements. And so we can see the fibers at that level. So this are the, these are the important structures to recognize at the level of the superior colliculus. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at the level slightly below there, which is at the level of the inferior colliculus. And what you'll see, first of all, is that uh, we will find some of the same structures, but there are a couple of exceptions. So let's take a look at the inferior colliculus and the cross section at that level. So coming on now is a very similar drawing to what we saw before, and we can draw on the, some of the same structures. In the center there, we have the cerebral aqueduct again, and that is of course still surrounded by the periaqueductal gray, but you'll notice already that it's looking slightly different. So first of all, we wanna take a look at something that we didn't label last time, but is there, it's the cerebral peduncle. This is of course the gray area at the front here. These are descending mainly corticospinal tract fibers. But we can recognize some differences. We have in here the medial lemniscus that we saw before, and we saw that we have the medial longitudinal fasciculus as well. What really tells this level apart from the level of the superior colliculus is that now we have the trochlear nucleus that's visible in the center. So instead of the ocular motor nucleus, we have the trochlear nucleus. And in the middle there, those black fibers are the crossing superior cerebellar peduncle fibers, which are important for the information traveling to the red nucleus and up to the thalamus as part of the cerebellar outflow. So that's all for now. See you soon. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.